trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I posted a uh, picture here of uh, Jimmy Twentyman that was taken on uh, Monday the 13th. No, Monday the 12th. And then, of course, he was gone on uh, Valentine's Day. So that's how quickly it comes and goes, folks. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. That's the bottom line. He's going to be missed by a, a whole lot of people. All right, let's take a look here at some of these markets, how they made these bottoms and had this tremendous move here. I want to uh, show you, first of all, the long-term picture in the S&P on the weekly chart. I did this on the other part of the show, but we're already, we're continuing to go higher. So this is definitely gonna exceed because we've already gone higher. Now, what I didn't do is I didn't do the exact, in other words, add B and C together and subtract uh, you know the a leg from it because that's how you get the actual this little this little tool can be off by you know you see that you can just be off by just a little bit and the market can go you know someplace where it's not i didn't do that i probably should all i know it's up in here somewhere i mean that doesn't mean it's going to turn around but uh, right now it's still going higher let's take a quick look here at the bonds here because they uh, they just just don't have any friends uh, they just you can see the lower highs all the way through here we made lower lows again. Remember, we thought it was going to hold here, and it did. You know, we rallied up to this level here, 04, and then, of course, we came down more. And if you had, a you know, some type of a profit in here, you certainly wouldn't want to let it go to a loss. That's, uh, you know, what you try to do when you're when you're looking at some of these things. So that's a, that's one of the ones. But I wanted to just give you a rough idea. We, and, of course, we're, we're in some soybeans. Uh, right now, they've got, uh, they're almost at the max. In fact, they are at the maximum loss right now. You should be out of the uh, out of the November beans right now. Uh, we bought those at 48, and I said to stop them at 38. And so we're out with a 10 cent loss on that. So we're not going to do anything on the wheat that we had. Uh, that turned out, if you were paying attention, you'll notice here we had the 382 right here. There was a 382. And look, look at our high today, folks. It was right at. The 78 percent level of this level right back in here so that's why we're watching something that uh, is going to be uh, quite interesting it backed off and so far on the back off you'll see it's just come down and stopped pretty much where it's where it should have right near the 382 but uh, we took our profits up in here uh, because it completed that ABCD well it made the 78 percent level within two pennies and uh, that was the main reason for for uh, taking it. So that's what we're paying attention to uh, here right now as we watch some of these markets here unfold. But these markets are ex the old, uh, what is the old Chinese curse? May you live in interesting times? Well, these are one of those times. I have not seen anything like this since the dot com bubble, but the dot com bubble was different because it was a whole group of stocks, but you know, the AI is not that big a group. You know, there's maybe 50, 60, I don't know, maybe, I don't know how many, and some of them are really small. And but they're they're the one that's you know that's where the game's being played so that's why we need to uh, pay close attention to it on this week I wanted to point out the fact that we were also uh, setting exactly at the 61 percent retracement that's what uh, prompted me to take a look at it from you know to get out of the long position because you know it was working pretty good and of course the soybeans weren't so one you know one made uh, 20 one of them made 23 cents the other one lost 10 cents so. Either way, you would have probably been okay, you know, with that. So that that's what we're watching here as we're paying attention to some of these here uh, things here this morning. And as I mentioned, our our guest will be um, Grace Morris of Astro Economics. Of course, she's extremely bullish these Nasdaq stocks, as she should be, because boy, they just keep wanting to go higher and higher and higher. Let's take a quick look at Nvidia and see what it's doing on a little tiny tiny bit of an intraday basis. We'll just put a 13-minute uh, chart. We should be right up at the high. Well, we just made the high a little while ago up here at uh, 17, excuse me, 17 will be next week. 781 was the number we were looking at. And of course, you know, that long-term 
weekly chart that we were looking at, we thought it was going to get to just about 779, 70, 770 to 779, and we've certainly uh, we've certainly done that. To to be exactly, you should take B plus C and subtract A because this little tool can be off by you know, eight or 10 points and something like that. And that could really make a variance. You know, we could do that right now since we have time. What we're going to do is we're going to take the high here. I've got to get my little calculator out and only take a second. I used to do these over and over and over again. Hold on a second. A high on the, see what you're going to do is take, you're going to add B and C together, B and C. So B is, I think 502. Yep, B is 502. And then you add to that C point right here, which is 386 plus 386. And then you sub, ah, shucks, hold on. 502 plus 386 plus minus, that doesn't sound right, but the minus would be 100, minus 100. Now I'm doing this wrong because it's going to come out with the wrong number. That comes out with 488, and that can't be right. Wait, 4502 plus 386. Just, oh, this is terrible. Wasting your time, folks, but it's important to me. So we got 506 as the high, plus we have 386 as the BC leg, 386 plus. Okay, and that's 8. Now, oh, there it is. And that's 892 minus 100 equals 792 that's what it measures to and uh, that's what we're going to see whether that's going to be it or not we've been as high as 81 and we're still going up so we'll be watching it real closely here as we move on to some of these things okay all right let's get over here to uh, one other question that someone had about uh, another stock that is out there trading it which is tesla hold on one second i haven't looked at tesla you know, most of you guys know that I don't look at stocks very much, but we'll get the daily out here. It was making a nice Gartley down there at the bottom, so it should have rallied. Well, it is rallying a little bit, but gosh, not very much. I mean, you talk about a dead cat bounce. Look at this, folks. I mean, this is this is really bearish. This little, if that's a, that's not a, even close to a 382, but let's just uh, let's just check from the last high down to the low. No, it's not even close. The 382 comes up, up here at. Uh, you know, 210 up there. Then if you got A, B, C, D up at 210, that would be a bearish, bearish sign for Tesla. But remember, it went right down to the 618. You see how it stopped on the whole 618 of that whole move? Stayed right there, the little head and shoulders pattern. You can see that. If you can see, there's your shoulder, head, right shoulder, right shoulder higher than the left shoulder. That's, that's an idea. I mean, that's not a lot, but when you're Looking at a stock that's worth a couple hundred bucks, you know, 10 points is 5%, which isn't too bad. So anyway, let's move on here with the next one here and see what we have going on. I'll get this uh, out of the way with Tesla. And we got a, we got a break coming up. And we'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, next week we're going to have Mike Moore on, but I have to, you know, <laughs> let, let me just clean this out here because I haven't updated this new pattern because we had this lower low here yesterday. It was, you know, right on, spot on, and now we're heading up to another uh, A, B, C, D move here. There's your A leg right here. There's your B, C leg right here coming in, and then you have another one coming in right behind it right here. So we're going to be up into some really interesting spots up here. Once we get to the 79, uh, 40 level, we're very, very close to it uh, right now. And if we look at this on the daily chart, you're going to see the cluster of all the stops that are going to be kicked in here. The first one comes in at uh, 78, 77, and we just took that out. So, you know, I believe we're getting ready to make this little ABCD pattern right here in crude oil. Just blow it up a little bit so you'll be able to see it. There's your there's your big one right here, and you've got another one coming in right behind it, right here. If you like ABCDs, and I certainly do, but there's your AB. Oh, if I can get this to connect right, yeah, that'll be up around this 79. See, here's the old highs at 79. They're going to take that out, and it's probably where it's going to go up here to uh, around 8016. So watch this closely. This morning, you you had a pretty big break from last night. I'll show you the break. There was the break last night. We were we're setting right up at that 786 level, and then it broke down. And it, look where it stopped, folks. I mean, you just can't make this stuff up. It's pretty much uh, almost ex well, almost exactly 50%, a little bit below. But I need to show you one from yesterday that if you like numbers, and we certainly do. Oh dear, where is it? Oh no. Oh, dear. I got one here I have to show you, but it's really cool, and I just can't find the darn thing. What You know what I have it here? I have it in my uh, in my stuff from, from John Jameson, so just give me a bear with me a second, folks. I just want to get this up here and show you. There, There's uh, yesterday's low in the NASDAQ, folks. You can see these three highs that we had here earlier in the morning and that was the mean and look what happened when you hit one standard deviation to the exact tick and if you went and did the ABCD patterns on this <laughs> you were not very far off the thing is that when that news came out this thing just never took any prisoners it just went up and up and up and up so that's uh, that's what and this is the way markets act I mean they're supposed to look at all the news I mean everything in it is about AI how wonderful it is and I you know what 
it really is wonderful. But, you know, I don't think it's going to be wonderful forever. Who knows? <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. But it's a it's a pretty big move here. Now, let's move up here and we'll get a couple other uh, charts up here that we can see. But anyway, watch this uh, crude oil. Now, the reason why I'm focusing on that, I want you to see what's happening with the com this I do not understand. I don't understand how this can be. But if you're looking at crude oil, when you break crude oil up, okay, you know, refine it, it becomes heating oil, correct? And has get here's gasoline. Now here's gasoline. Now look where look where we are here. I'll just give you an idea. This is a uh, going the last few days, but look at look where gasoline is. I mean, it, it's hardly even moving. I mean in, we got crude oil up here and and and, and this is doing nothing. I mean, this is telling you, you got you know ABCDs coming in here also, so that's what uh, that's what I'm looking at. This is telling me the market is actually a lot weaker because look how gasoline should be you know way up here and it's not. Now let's do the heating oil. I wish we had Tom uh, Mike Moore, but we'll have him on Monday, and uh, you'll be able to see or he'll be able to explain to us why this crack spread is doing so crazy. Now here's heating oil, and that was uh, earlier it was a lot weaker and it is still a lot weaker. You can see here. It's come down, and now we've uh, we've made uh, lower lows here. But look look where it is for today. It's still not even hardly up on the day. It's just barely up on the day. This is telling me that the complex, even though you know the the crude oil is uh, you know up in this area right here, the other the products that they're cracking into it are not selling well. That hey, what do I know? I'm just telling you what I look at it as sum total of all the buyers and sellers. So I hope that gives you some idea of uh you know what we're what we're looking at right here so all right let me move that one out of the way we covered that and we covered the gasoline and then we covered already did the crude oil we're waiting for crude oil to get up to that clean those stops out let's get that again so you can see it on the daily you want it to get these stops out right up in here because then you'll have an, a really nice a b c d okay and if it's really nice what it'll do is it'll match up with this real nice three drive pattern that we got going and that would take you right up to this level right here around 80 20 and that's what you'd be wanting to watch it around 80 20 that takes care of all these stops over here 79 58 you know all of these stops in here and it's going to look like it's real bullish and you know it might be but uh, that's what you look for is that little ABCD coming into that area uh, right about here so that's what uh, I'm watching here in the crude oil complex. I'm just surprised that the other are very, very weak. You know, that's a thing that is, uh, you know, really quite uh, um, dangerous, the fact that it's so much uh, uh, weaker than the other the other markets. So I hope that uh, gives it some type of uh, an idea of what we're watching here, okay? All right, now let's move on here. The market continues to go higher, and I can see here we're just uh, – the, I, these are delayed here in, in uh, NVIDIA, so who knows where it is trading at. I'm showing it's trading at 73, but we've got the S&P uh, making new highs now as we speak right here. I, I assumed that we were going to have a, a little bit of a three-drive pattern right here, but it looks like it's going to go even higher. We had one right in here, but we went a little bit higher, and it looks like we're still going to go up. We've got another one coming in. But when it does turn, folks, just like it went up, I don't think it's going to go down the same way that it went up. But it's going to be interesting to see, you know, what really happens when we when we look at this thing, when it starts to unfold. And we have to look at this one, too, because this was a pretty big one early this morning. The market backed off. Looks like we're going to go to 5090, maybe 5100, which we could easily do because looking at this on this long term weekly, you know, we said we could get up there and there's, you can see where we are. There's the number was uh, 5088 uh, and we're at 5087 right now. So we're really close to that, uh, that same ABCD, the same ABCD number that we're looking at uh, right here. So that's what we're seeing as we un uh, look at this uh, here so far today now we've got uh, grace morris will be coming up here in just a few moments and we'll uh, ask her some questions hope we'll get her on the line and we'll be able to uh, see what she has to say but uh, we uh, had one heck of a run on this thing last night folks when i saw this thing take off i said holy moly guacamole look at this thing it just zoom in fact it look at this it actually backed off a little bit and then it exploded you know, and this just kept going up and up, and we keep going up and up and up. So 
not much you can do about that. So we'll wait and see how it all uh, comes out. But uh, the beans are going lower, which is uh, not unexpected. We had to get out of those. Uh, we bought those here at uh, 48. I said put the stop at 38. That was right here. And now we're trading 35, which is lower. So there's no reason to uh, get too excited about it yet. Maybe down the road, but look, looking at this on the daily now, you see we're really breaking down big time below these levels here. That tells us it hasn't made a bottom yet, and we'll just have to wait and see. But we gave it a nibble, paid a little. That's the way it looks like. 877-927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Grace Morris, Astro, and Astro Economics on the line. And I I'm guess here. you got... <laughs> you got your wish, dear. You were seeing an exploding market to the upside, so oh, holy, uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Top risen in confidence, right? Well, this you've done what pretty good. Say, isn't it? Yeah, it <laughs> certainly is. If you're long, I happen to not be long, so I was short for a very short period of time. Took a very small loss, but boy, these these numbers that these people are posting here the, for the AI stuff is really spectacular. Have you seen a demo yeah, on AI? 
I, I've seen a couple I, of demos. It just blew me away. I, I can see where it's a game changer, <laughs> but holy cow. Isn't it? it it's like uh, the Internet and the printing press. <laughs> Yes, but that that's, is that's, uh, the reason, particularly with the Magnificent Seven. So um, yeah. it, this is a great time to be in the markets. The, uh, Amen to the that. The NASDAQ's up over 400. The uh, S&P's back over 5,000. Uh, yeah. That is the NASDAQ up uh, over 400 today. And yeah. uh, the Dow is uh, up. Uh, oh, a new number oh. came up on the board. is up. Uh, 389 holy cow yeah yeah <laughs> everything everybody wants to be in so this is uh you know we've had a heck of a move here on some of these things are there any stocks that you look at that are good value uh, in here well, grace let me let me um just uh, i just uh, finished the uh, bo- uh, book, my blog for this morning, and uh, the, not only the markets are all up, but everything on our recommended list is uh, uh, absolutely up. The video is uh, over uh, 100 and, uh, points, and all the Magnificent Seven, which I've uh, very much promoted, are up. Sure. And I think a really interesting one is uh, SMCI, which is uh, on the front page of my this month's newsletter, and um, it's over 200, uh, and that's dollars a share. And uh, that was an example of gap ups and how they keep moving, and it's still moving. And that's up. Is it up 200 dollars today? Yep. Uh, and let me give you the exact number. I That's got it S- right in front SM, of me. SMCI, you said? Right. Let me um, put that up here. Crowd so is we'll almost, uh, oh, here. Uh, SMCI is uh, at $226 a share today. Okay. Yep. Well, it was <laughs> nine, it's, a, it's at 972 That's up $272 it, today. Boy, oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Wow. Isn't that amazing? And uh, last month's newsletter, which uh, your audience can request a free copy of on our um, website, astroeconomics.com. Mm. And while they're there, uh, take a look at the blog on the uh, uh, site. Wow. But, but on the, uh, a... as they will see, I have a, a, a col- in the col- first column, I, I'm buys on gap ups. And okay. uh, Super Micro uh, Computer uh, was up 75% at the start of the month. And wow. it's, it did nothing but gap up, and it gapped up again. And this, I oh. like to uh, put in buying and holding strategies uh-huh. in every newsletter. And uh, this is a great buying strategy to uh, yeah. uh, buy on gap ups. It's like, I remember years and years ago in a a stock club, people wanted to buy something that was falling or bottoming. And uh, I can remember uh, Bill O'Neill, the uh, IBD founder, who would say, when it's going up, it's going to go further up. And so those are always the uh, stocks to pick. Yeah, my I don't know if you knew this or not, but my uh, my oldest uh, daughter, she uh, her first boyfriend was uh, Bill's son, <laughs> a long time ago. Oh, really? Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. yeah. We, not, we 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 the, the kids wonderful. all the kids went to the same high school there, at West Lake. So it was uh, oh, it was a long gosh. time ago. Anyway, so anyway, uh, do you have any particular stock besides SMCI? Do you have something that maybe the poor man could buy like under three hundred, two hundred, one hundred dollars? Or well, is let me say this: and all my the stocks I put in for this month are, are doing well. But uh, let me talk about these sectors because uh, if we know ahead of time which sectors are going to be favored, and I've done this for about twenty-five years. And it is amazing. We're going to have a shift uh, after May 26th to the next year. And the uh-huh. cycle we're in right now is the um, cosmetics, uh, restaurants, uh, financial. Uh-huh. And uh, today, like uh, Lulu and Lemon and um, Elf are up. There's a there's several in that uh, sector. Uh-huh. And uh, 
ahead of time. It's good to know uh, the airlines, which are having such problems right now in this um, sector, uh, will do very well uh, after June and will recover a lot of um, I mean, uh, okay. the ground that they've really lost. Like in the news is the uh, JetBlue and Spirit merger uh-huh. fell apart or is in limbo, a limbo. and um, the pulling back of the Boeing 737 MAX and all of the problems that they are having at this point will uh, not be there. And uh, so any of the transportation stocks, particularly uh, the air-related stocks, should uh-huh. do very well. And that's uh-huh. probably railroads also. Grace, how will the yeah. folks get a, a sample copy of your letter? How do they? How, what's the best way for them to reach you? Well, if you just go to uh, our um, website, astroeconomics.com, and uh, just request it on the uh, okay. contact page. Well, thank you so much for being our guest today. We'll have you on again soon. Do you still like it down there in Florida? You're not going to move back to uh, Chicago, are you? To Chicago? Well, Larry, we, I think we uh, suffered long enough in the cold weather. <laughs> oh, I can remember some of those seminars we had back there. Boy, they were held in cold right. weather. But we had some in the right. spring that were good, too. So, listen, it's great having yeah. you on. And uh, thanks for the kind things you said about Jim Twentyman. Uh, I knew you knew Jim, and uh, he was really a stand-up guy. So, Anyway, oh, thank you yeah. so much, Grace, and I hope to meet you again one of these days if we're ever in the old yeah, seminar absolutely. circuit again. Okay? Keep up the good work, Larry. <laughs> I'll do the best I can. Grace Morris, folks, Astroeconomics, and I believe we have to check the clock on the wall to see how I'm doing with time because usually, um, oh, I've got a whole minute segment here, so let's move on. I had another one that someone asked about, one of the mega stocks. I'll get it up here so we could all see it together, and I think we'll be able to see it. This is Meta, and as you can see here, oh, I don't have the thing being showed yet, so bear with me. I posted the SMCI chart. Uh, hold on, I'll post it again. Let's just get here. Uh, all right, this is the one I'm showing you now. I did I did post the SMCI chart, but I'll, I'll do it again. Okay, this is the meta, and I'll do the other one here in just a second. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I'll try to explain what Grace was telling us. You see how the little pattern here, we have a little six-day pullback, and then the market gaps up like that. She thinks that's incredibly bullish, and believe me, that is incredibly bullish when you gap up like this and just keep going. Stop and think, folks. This went up $100. This is a $300 stock. It went to $400 in the first day. And then it backs off for a little tiny bit, and then it doesn't back off at all. I mean, it's just up, 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 another breakout, another breakout. Here you had a big outside day to the downside, and the rally back thus far is probably went right up to the old 78% level. Not quite, but it's still going. But uh, that's what we're. That's what he's. What she's talking about uh, at this level. What I would do here. I don't know if we can do this or not without too much trouble. Now you can't because it. Uh, you can't get the damn thing to move over enough to, to measure. What I wanted to do is to measure, ah, you know what I can do is to do this, go to the right, delete to the right, delete, right. Yep, all, all the bars, and then I just move this over like this, push it up a little bit, and you'll see here that's still not a, I was thinking this might be a 382 right here, but it doesn't, I think it's more than a 618 because this is, it's in the $200 category, folks, and now it's trading for 900. So yeah, I went right to a 61% retracement and then gapped up. So that's, uh, that's what you, I mean, I, you know, when I look at this chart and I go back here and just look at this here, because this, if you'll remember, this was my, this was my problem right here. This was the big buy. This was the big buy, and uh, this was when we had that uh, lunar eclipse on the 28th, and we had that big cycle that said we were going straight up uh, into late December, which we did. And uh, not going to live that one down, boys and girls. I can promise you that. So, <laughs> anyway, that's the SMCI that we're watching here uh, today. Uh, we've already looked at Tesla. Um, most of these, you know, like um, there's Microsoft is really big with the AI and Google uh, back down today. They said basically our product isn't anywhere near ready to be used by the public. And so that's what I heard. I could be I could be uh, entirely wrong on that. I'm still focusing, you know, I, even though, you know, we had a you know, look like it's going to be a great start. Uh, to the wheat trade, we still uh, made some money on the wheat trade. We raised our stop to uh, after it hit 93, you know, I said, put, I sent in the video, I said, put your stop at 85. Because if it gets below there, there's something wrong, and it went back below there. And so, you know, there's nothing else you can do but stand aside and, and just wait and see if it's going to do it. The market continues to go higher. Look, we're still, we're just made new highs in the uh, S&P again. We're uh, heading up to, uh, looks like 5,100. We're at uh, 50. Let me read this on the long-term weekly that number uh, was still, um, we're still, below, it's already above the number. Let's put it that way. You can see it. That is already, I've measured these, and that's where it measures to, right up here. And that number is at uh, 5070, and we're already 24 handles above. It looks like we're heading up to maybe even the 127 of this move 
uh, right here. So I uh, just check one other one just to see if this has got anything. I don't think it's got a little bit higher to go. Yes, it certainly does. And that means we could get to 5282. I don't know. All I know is, folks, this is how it moves in, not how they begin. That I don't know how much higher it's going to go. And, you know, that's all I'm doing. You know, I think yesterday uh, we took a nipple at it on the rally back in the, S, uh, the Dow Jones. That didn't work. But, uh, you know, the other trades that we had on uh, were acting pretty good. Missed a beauty today by just a heartbeat doing all this other stuff. And I didn't uh, get a chance to send it out. It was in the cattle because uh, we were waiting to see cattle make this. Uh, remember, this is just a 30-minute chart. But look at this really nice little ABC here today. And it stayed here for two hours. Come on, boys and girls. I mean, why couldn't I do that one? And I didn't see it. And, you know, it uh, missed it by... Uh, miss it by 10 pips. 189.40 was a number. Got to 189.25, and uh, that's uh, boy, it's had a pretty big break. That's uh, well over a thousand dollars in cattle today. And how could cattle be down with the rest of the markets being up? Shut the front door and raise the rent. You don't know which ones are going to work, and you don't care. You just got to keep doing them. That's all you got to do. Okay, let's move on here. Um, let me. Get this straight so I can put all together and I have a question about wheat. And let me get up here and I will bring the wheat chart right here. Let's get it up here. This was one that we had. We played this one perfectly yesterday and today. I already I've already brought this out. I want to bring it to your attention. Here was the buy right here. Let's just clean this out. Uh, we missed the buy here. Remember on this daily, it measured right down there. Uh, I don't – well, we better put it up here again because a lot of people don't remember it from – I think it was the 4-hour, wasn't it? Yeah, there's your 4-hour. There was your ABCD right here. There was your rally today, and uh, there was your 382 pullback yesterday. We missed this bottom. We bought the 382. That gave us $0.23. Cents, okay, and when it got to there, I said, put your stop down to here. That way you lock in $0.14. Cents. And so you got out, and now it's already six cents below that. So that's all I'm doing is trying to do that. I, I did it with the S&P once today. I did it with the Dow Jones once today. Lost both of both times. But you know what? I'll be around when the the, the dancing starts. At least I think I will be. This straight-up move, though, really surprised me. I haven't seen anything like this since the dot-com days, and uh, I know how those ended. So. Uh, when you hear the boys in the poker room saying, gee, I'm really looking forward to get to the, getting back into markets again, you know it's uh, very, very close. All we did on this high was just go a little above the 50% level. We didn't even make a 61% retracement here. Basically, what I was doing was protecting profits because my assumption was after a big move like this, if you came back below here, there was something really wrong. And that's why I suggested to put the stop at 585. That would lock in 14 cents. Or $700, which would have made up for the uh, the soybean trade, and it I believe is still going lower. I just saw it beeping again. Uh, yeah, here. Nope, that's yeah. Here's right here. It's uh, 30. We got out of this at 30, uh, 38, and it's now 36, and it looks like we're still still heading down. So I just have to wait and get another pattern that will line up. This one lined up exactly what I wanted to do. Did what it's supposed to do, but didn't act right you see we were buying it on this pullback right here this right here I, I do this on the air so you can see what we're doing let's get up here that's what i was doing right here move this over i was buying it on this pullback right here at 48 and i did and all it did and i saw this couldn't do anything about it went right up to the exact 382 here hit it twice and boom down she came and now you can see we're looking at another big abcd to the downside on this one also so we're going to be keeping a close eye on it here over the next few days especially because we have this lunar cycle that is coming in uh, today and tomorrow and tomorrow I guess will be the wizard of Naples Florida Norm Winsky and we'll have him uh, on the air uh, also so those are a few of the things that we're looking at here today and uh, 
Anyway, that's about it. I uh, Believe it or not, folks, I slept for nine hours last night. I didn't see any of that move. From, I went to bed at 8 o'clock. I got up at uh, like f- 5 o'clock, and I couldn't believe it. I had slept that long without any interruption. I, I thought maybe something was wrong. All right, we're going to take a break here. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, we'll get up to what's going on with the gold market. We had this uh, you know, ABCD that measured down to here. And, of course, with this big move down, you know it's going to extend. But that also, you had a small, remember this if, took almost a, two days to complete this right here. And if you measure it from your high down to your low, you're going to see that went exactly to the 382 right here. We were fortunate enough to get a little bit of that. But if you'll notice, if you measure then from your A, B leg down to your C and then D leg, that takes you really close to the bottom. How close does it come? Well, it misses it by, uh, well, it, it looked like the bottom was going to be here at, uh, it only got to 95 and it, not get, it was supposed to get down to 90, so it missed that. But here's the key. We were looking for a sale on the way back up, okay? This is, the, this is what we were watching. From the high that we made, let's just get this one out of the way so we can see the whole sequence. From your high, 
down to your low, your first 382 retracement came in here, and we did that one. And then, of course, when it, it was here for all day on Sunday, and we said, nope, it's no good. We scratched that trade. It went up. We were looking for the sale right here because that was the 61% retracement off of here, and it was also the small ABCD pattern lining up at the same time. So that's what we were looking for. We might still get it, but right now it could go either way. There's your low right here. Okay, there's your high right here. The next one we're taking you right up to that number, and that would have been absolutely perfect. It would have been a minor, uh, well, not minor because it's a four-hour chart, but there's drive one right there. There's drive two, there's drive three. Whoops, get that up there. There's drive three. So that would have been a nice place to do it. We're $18 away, and we could easily get back up there. So watch that one if it gets there, because that should be strong resistance for two reasons. One is we're two weeks into a rally, and we haven't any been higher than the 50% level. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow with Norm Winsky of Astro Tens trends and may God bless.